so many people think that it's a transactional basis that blockchain comes into play, but it's so much more than that. And that's you know kind of where we've included it as a um, data audit tool for ourselves. So when we publish odds to books, we can quickly do dispute resolution. Um, we can check back on what odds we published and we can really identify the point of error um, within the, the feed. This is Becky Legiro, your host for Hashing It Out. I am here today with someone from the gambling industry, so I'm incredibly excited because this is where I come from. This is Tim Malik. He is the CEO of Combat IQ. But before we get started today, I just wanted to remind you to please hit the like button, subscribe, and hit the notifications bell so you do not miss a future episode of Hashing It Out. So let's get started. Tim, welcome. It's so good to see you. Thank you, Becky. It's a pleasure to be here. Yes, and I wanted, first of all, for you to describe to our audience, yeah. what is Combat IQ, and how is this going to change the face of combat sports sure. and uh, data analytics in this part yeah. of the industry? So, uh, Combat IQ is an advanced data analytics company for combat sports, and what we're doing is we're using computer vision, machine learning to extract real-time fight data from broadcast streams, and then deliver that to our key verticals. And we think we're, gonna, we're in a really good position to supercharge growth for combat sports using that technology. I love it. But tell me why you decided to focus on combat sports, and I think MMA is, is your first target. Absolutely. Why? So I left pro football, American football, in 2019, um, and then the pandemic hit. All sports stopped, and I was hungry for competition. Fortunately, the UFC kept putting on events, um, and I would tune in every week I'd watch those. And I'm a little bit of a gambler myself, so I would always go look for data um, that would help me make more accurate bets. And when I saw a real lack of that, that's when I approached my current co-founder, Chris Zhang, to, uh, to create, the, create a solution that we could then apply to the industry. And we found that we we're creating a really high value technology. Um, so we entered the, the SB Dojo program here in, in London. Um, and now we're in a really good position to hit the market with our, our B2B product. Awesome. I love it. And the Satoshi Block Dojo program is, has a special place in my heart. So I'm, and we're here today, in fact, at the dojo offices. Yeah. But I wanted to talk to you a little bit more about the technology that sure. you're mentioning. And I know that you've got some competitors in the sports betting yeah. space already that you kind of have a look at and, and you're trying to create something that's new and it's different. Yeah. Tell me, how is your tech different than what we're seeing out there today? Yeah. So typically when you look at some of the, the sports data companies, you know, your genius sports of the world, Sport Radar or Stats Perform, uh, they all use computer vision, machine learning for different sports. But largely what they use is similar to what Tesla uses, object identification. They'll use computers to figure out where a person is, where the ball is, but what we're doing is so much more granular. We're doing posture detection. We're figuring out where fighters, how they move. I mean, look at their fist from point A to point B so we can calculate the velocity of their punch. I mean, there's so many really cool uh, data points that we can get into and extract and then use that to figure out what's gonna happen. Um, so we're in a really great position to, to provide unique and proprietary data to the market. Very nice, very nice. And, and we mentioned, of course, the dojo, yeah. which is where we are. And the dojo, I know, is focused on startups that are using a BSV blockchain in some way. Yeah. And something that I actually love about Combat IQ is that you, you haven't even mentioned yet yeah. that blockchain's involved. Yeah. And I think that's actually good yeah. for the gambling world because sometimes the word blockchains can frighten people or Absolutely. it's attached with some stigmas, you know, whatever. Um, so how do you use blockchain? Yeah, well, if I could just add on to what you just said, you know, I think it's really important. Um, one of the great things about the dojo is that they're helping all the companies involved learn how to use blockchain in really unique ways for its utility. Mm -hmm. And typically, you know, so many people think that it's a transactional basis that blockchain comes into play, but it's so much more than that. And that's, you know, kind of where we've included it as a um, data audit tool for ourselves. So when we publish odds to books, we can quickly do dispute resolution. Um, we can check back on what odds we published and we can really identify the point of error um, within the, the feed. That is very, very cool. And you're absolutely right. When I have conversations with people, they think blockchain, oh, it's gonna do with payments and that's yeah. it. So this is a, a completely new way, but for, for people in the gambling industry, you don't even need to know the blockchain's yeah. involved, just need to know how cool the product is. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so let's actually talk more about the product. Sure. So I know on your website, you're talking about engaging more fans, yeah. you're talking about boosting the media side of things yeah. for it. Just give me some examples of how sure. companies can sign yeah. up with you yeah. and actually superpower their combat sports offering. Absolutely, and you know, I'll go back to uh, the betting on sports in Europe convention that occurred here in London. I attended that and. Um, I listened to a panel speak about how to grow horse racing. Mm -hmm. and, they, and they drew on Formula One. 
And they talked about how it was a dying sport from 2018 to 2017. Viewership number, numbers just plummeted. Um, and then they introduced all these visualizations, in-depth analytics, and they drove their numbers right back up to where they were in 2008. Mm -hmm. um, and that, the power of that data is so evident. I mean, you see it in modern day NFL, in the NHL, MLB, how impactful that data is to create that culture. Um, and we're largely inserting that in combat sports because it's almost non-existent. You know, Nielsen, I'm sure you're familiar with them, did a study of the, the top 20 most valuable sports properties on the planet. Three of those were MMA leagues and only one of the three actually published stats on their fighters. So right away, you can see massive missed opportunity to grow the sport. And we're kind of injecting our services within there. And one of my dear friends in the gambling space is actually working with an MMA whole company and he's, right. he's building, building all of his contacts and it's great. Yeah, and yeah. actually a question that I have for you is the data that you have, is this in the moment, is it instant or is it after the fact? No, this is real time data from yeah, yeah, broadcast yeah. streams. And that's what we're so excited about. Yeah. I mean, typically the way it is now, you won't find statistics till after the second round. But ours, I mean, second to second, we can update the fans so they can experience the fights from their living rooms. Um, and really be you know, fully immersed in the events. Amazing. Well, I love your energy. And when you and I have chatted in the past, it, I can feel it yeah, <laughs> across the Zoom great. call. But I wanted to know a little bit more about you. Yeah. I know that the dojo is quite particular in who they invite into their program. And they really are going for personality and people yeah. with lots of experience. So I know that you have had a lot of global experience. You've lived all sorts of different places. So tell me about where you've lived, the languages yeah. you speak, and yeah. how this is going to uh, impact the business that you're running. Yeah, well, it's not only myself, but my co-founder. You know, between the two of us, we live in 12 countries. Amazing. Speak 10 languages, but he speaks seven of them. So. <laughs> um, but no, I was born in Pakistan. You know, I've lived in Dubai, Greece, Nigeria, Taiwan, uh, Canada, and now the UK. So even, even with my co-founder, Chris, you know, when we approached this, it was very much approaching a problem that we could globally scale and utilize our past um, through globalization to kind of take that product and, and get it to everybody. Um, and, and that's you know, th something that we think we have a, a competitive advantage in. And we, you know, Chris speaks Hebrew, uh, uh, Vietnamese, English, Mandarin, French, Spanish, uh, Greek. Um, I speak Arabic, English, Urdu, Pashto. Wow. Um, so you know, cover different hemispheres of the planet. Yeah, and the gambling industry truly is a global one. I used to travel the whole world, right. you know, attending conferences and events targeting different markets. So yeah. I think that this is actually a really cool thing. Yeah. I have not met someone who speaks so many languages. I swear <laughs> to God, that's really, really cool. I like to think so too. Yeah, and you mentioned earlier uh, American football, you've yeah. experienced in that. What uh, background do you have with that? So I was actually working for the Toronto Argonauts in the Canadian Football League, but I was scouting in the Northeast US. So I did all the NFL teams and NCAA teams in the Northeast. Um, so I would go to University of Michigan, Ohio State, Penn State, and all the big names you watch Saturdays, and then on Sundays, Giants, Jets, etc. And I, I really got an inside glimpse at how they use the, those teams use data to create that diehard culture, and even at training camps. We'd see hundreds of fans shouting stats at their favorite players, you know, we want to see you reach 2,000 yards and this and that. And, and it really, it touched me and, and it's, it stood out to me how impactful that data really was. Yep. Yeah, well, the gambling industry is driven by data. Yep. This is the whole backbone of what, of what we're doing. Incredible. And we've talked about the dojo several times already yeah. during this chat of ours, but can you just give me a little overview of what the experience has been like here over the past yeah. three months and what you've learned from being here? Absolutely. Well, it's been a phenomenal three months. Um, you know, started in May and we're uh, here at our showcase day. I wish it would go on forever, but we've got to get to real <laughs> life. Um, but it's been phenomenal. From day one, they've been pushing us. Um, and, and really getting us out of our comfort zone. So we've done everything from, they're forcing us to go talk to customers to validate what we're doing. Um, putting us in front of mentors for a week straight, which can be kind of exhausting, but very beneficial. Um, and at the end of it, we just do pitch prep and, and just constantly give our you know, pitches for our company, trying to raise our funds um, so we can hit the ground running and build a, a world-class product. And I do have to add, uh, you know, Craig Massey has been phenomenal in adding to that. He, uh, he, did, he worked with us quite closely for our financial modeling. So, you know, really thankful to him for all that. I love it. Yeah, and then they put people like me in front of you, <laughs> torturing you with a camera. No, not at all. <laughs> um, but I do know that you are looking for investment yep. and you have a fantastic pitch deck out there. So can you just tell our audience what kind of investment you're looking into and, and give us a quick pitch? Absolutely, yeah. So uh, we're looking to raise 500,000 pounds for 20% of our company. And that'll largely go towards hiring the best computer vision engineers on the planet the best data scientists on the planet, as well as filing the legal paperwork for our patented technology. 
you know, we, we've just added a, a really talented, bright young woman who did her PhD dissertation in uh, computer vision and boxing, but she wasn't able to move on with that, so we added her to the team. We added a computer vision engineer who has a background in Brazilian jiu-jitsu. So we're adding subject matter experts with world-class technological capabilities. Um, and that's what we're looking for funding for, to really build the best team on the planet to take this on. Yes, yes. And I'm looking forward to seeing you at some gambling industry events. Yes. I know I've thrown a whole big yeah, list yeah, at yeah. you. <laughs> I'll absolutely do that. Yeah. <laughs> amazing, amazing, Tim. Well, I absolutely love what you're doing. Uh, it's a special place in my heart, and I think you're doing a great job. So I want to thank you very much for being here with me today. Thank Wishing you. you amazing luck, and I'll see you at the next event. Thank you, Becky. Amazing. And thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Hashing It Out. I am your host, Becky Legiro. This is CoinGeek.com. Imagine going to your local arcade, inserting a quarter into the game, and posting a high score on the leaderboard. And then, everyone who comes after you and fails to beat your high score, you get a portion of their quarter every time. Now imagine placing that high score on a global leaderboard where millions of daily players are fighting for your top spot. This is a game changer. This is Haste Arcade. Jump in right now and play across multiple modern arcade style games, earning cash instantly deposited to your hand cash wallet. Let's introduce Player Cards, the world's first output NFT. You can mint your own and gather others, from friends to top players. For any player card you hold, you earn a portion of each gameplay output. This is a haste token. Earn them daily just for playing. They can be used to purchase things like prizes, player cards, and more. Trade them on exchanges or simply redeem them for cash. This is the next gen of gaming. Play, earn, grow on Haste Arcade. Bitcoin mining, Bitcoin wallet, blockchain, stable coins. Metanet, the evolution of money. Everybody is talking about Bitcoin today, but what exactly is it? Learn the basics from experts. Learn what Bitcoin is, how it works, and why it matters. Bitcoin 101, your ultimate guide to the fundamentals of blockchain. Thank you for tuning in to today's episode of Hashing It Out. For more from the show, click here. For more from the CoinGeek channel, click here. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notifications bell so you do not miss any future shows from the CoinGeek channel.